So we've talked about different techniques of brainstorming that can help you very much achieve a very, very uh, high number of outputs and uh, strategically uh, order them. So at one point, really, really get to find the best idea possible to solve your challenge. Um, this is the end of the, of the lesson. And I'm going to come very quickly on the tool that can help you replicate that as well that exists. The first one is uh, built by Board of Innovation. That's a company specializing in design thinking, in agile methodologies. They do wonderful tools such as this particular card game that are prompts. So it's very much to anchor your mind around one specific problem. And that would be something like uh, if you were Dropbox, how would you think about that problem? If you were uh, Steve Jobs, how would you think about that particular problem? So that helps you very much anchor your mind. Uh, as I said before, this sort of anchoring is great once you start practicing already the technique. Um, and you can continue eventually by reading about uh, brainstorming as well and the theory behind it. So one book very important in this field is the one by Edouard de Bono, who is maybe one of the first person who theorized the whole brainstorming concept, how our brain really processes this sort of information. Uh, he has a number of books. One of the most known is the Six Thinking Hats, because that's one technique he developed where people would use different colors of hats um, to put themselves in roles. So I would be the role of the person who needs to generate ideas. And then I would be the second role of the person who needs to criticize them. It's very powerful when you're in a group. Uh, you can do it by yourself as well. It's a bit more complex to actually organize by yourself, but still, I would recommend once again to start with the techniques I gave before going on to more uh, complex, refined, advanced type of techniques. So I introduce uh, very quickly the book. I'm not affiliated to any of these companies or books. So that's, these are just recommendations I've went through myself if you want to go much further. The last one, uh, the Hyper Island Toolbox. Uh, Hyper Island is one of the most creative school in the world for uh, creative professionals. It's based in Stockholm, but has as well uh, seats all around the world. And this particular um, uh, school gives for free all their exercises that they run at the school. Uh, it's a very nice format, very well designed. Uh, once again, these are advanced uh, workshop uh, formats, advanced exercises. Stick to what you can be proficient in, build this strength, and once you want to uh, go even further and push yourself, go on to these sort of resources. I also put two softwares I use a lot. Evernote is one of them. Evernote is a system where you can put all your notes, all thoughts, and gather them in one central place. It's, it, it runs on desktop, on a, a laptop, on your smartphone, on a tablet, everywhere basically where you can carry digitally your notes. Uh, I use it a lot. I have more than 3,000 notes on Evernote. I run most of my brainstorming now in this particular app because it helps me keep track of everything and all my thinking rounds. I also made a full session on a real-time board. Uh, if you want to visualize post-its but digitally, if you want to collaborate with teams uh, remotely, that's a very good software for doing that because it replicates a little bit the sensation you have physically when you're in a space. You can't think better than physically in the same room, all the people, but that's as close as it gets to do the same thing online. Um, I also put you two reference articles. One is from the New York Times, I think. 500 different prompts. It's especially built for writers, but we can use the same prompts to trigger, change the form of our problem up until our brain managed to catch it as a very good trigger to find ideas. And the second article, for the one interested in the example of pottery, quantity over quality, that's the original article. And I think it links back to the study itself. The most powerful tool you have is not going to be a digital tool. It's not going to be a book. It's not going to be a specific form of workshop. It's going to be simply your brain and a timer. Once you manage to refine your problem into a sentence, your brain catches very well. Four minutes, put yourself under pressure. That's how your brain works fast. When you're doing exercises, when you're practicing for running or stretching, you start at very low level. But you know that by practicing these sort of muscles, you're going to be extremely good after a while. 
The brain is exactly the same thing. And most people do not use a structured exercise to train their brain. They don't have routine to train their brains. And that is a very big problem if your brain is responsible for 90% of the outcomes in your life. So I'm training my brain all the time and I'm training it under pressure. Like when you do push-ups for training your body, you need to make a certain amount of push-ups in a certain amount of time to make it valid exercise. This is what you do with a timer. You don't have time to think about yourself, you just think. Thank you very much for following me in this particular training. That's the first time I do that online, actually. Um, that's the first time I do it because I realize that I'm helping a lot of people physically, but I never had the chance to help more people potentially online. Uh, I have a motto that says that creativity is 75% strategy. Because if you want to be creative, you have to be strategic first. You need to know where you're going, you need to structure that, and once you manage to find a structure, then the creativity comes in. And that's the moment where you're going to be amazed by the, the ideas you have, and you can fit that into a very creative progression. If you have any questions, I put my email address as well, Charlie Lee, it's my name, so Charlie Lee in English, at 75%.eu. Don't look for a website yet, I don't have one. And if you're watching this video six months from now, I hope I'm gonna have a website. Um, please contact me if you have any questions on brainstorming. If I can help you, I will. I usually, I'm able to usually answer 95% of the questions. And if I can't answer that, that means that's a great challenge for me to solve. So I'm gonna come back to you afterwards. You can write me an email anytime. Uh, I've included additional elements. What is a brainstorming good for? You remember, uh, I've, I've started with a menu. I listed a number of uh, answers as well. I think the most powerful one is knowing that your brain works and that you can tackle any challenge at any moment in time. Thank you very much and have a great day.